Welcome to my channel, Math Globe. Activity on Basic Proportionality Theorem or Tails Theorem. Hello students, topic Basic Proportionality Theorem. Objective to verify the Basic Proportionality Theorem or Tails Theorem. Materials required. A sheet of white paper, a sheet of colored paper, a piece of cardboard, a piece of cardboard, a ruler, a ruler, a protractor and glue. Okay, let us begin with the activity. Before that, I'll tell you the theory of it. Basic proportionality theorem or Thiel's theorem. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides, then the line divides these sides in the same ratio. So let us start with the activity procedure. Step 1. Paste the sheet of white paper on the cardboard. Step 2. Draw a straight line PQ. Measuring 15 cm. Draw a straight line PQ. Measuring 15 cm. On this paper. At P. Draw a line MP perpendicular to PQ. Draw a line exactly 90 degrees I am taking since it is a perpendicular line. Draw a line MP. I am extending this. Draw a line MP perpendicular to PQ. Similarly, draw a line in Q perpendicular to PQ. Again, I am extending the line in Q perpendicular to PQ. Draw a line XY parallel to PQ. Draw a line XY. Draw a line XY parallel to PQ. The line XY is parallel to PQ. Line XY is parallel to PQ respectively such that points x and y are at equal distance from p and q that is px is approximately 3 cm and qy 3 cm points x and y are at equal distance from P and Q. Then join X and Y to parallel to PQ. Step 4. Cut the triangle ABC from the colored paper and paste it. Paste it. I have not pasted. I will just paste it. Paste the triangle, cut triangle ABC from the color paper and paste it on the white paper. The triangle ABC. Cut the triangle ABC.
from the colored paper and paste it on the white paper so that its base BC so that its base the triangle base BC coincides with the line XY coincides with the line XY step 5 draw two straight lines x1 y1 and x2 y2 both parallel to the line pq draw x1 y1 x1 y1 and x2 y2 both these lines both these lines x1 y1 parallel to pq x2 y2 line x2 y2 is also parallel to pq by the same procedure discussed in step 3 such that the line x1 y1 cuts the sides a b and AC at the points D1, E1 respectively. D1, E1. The line X1, Y1 cuts the triangle or cuts the side AP and AC at D1 and E1 respectively. And the line X2, Y2 cuts the side AB and AC at the points D2 and E2 respectively. Line X2, Y2 cuts the side AB, AC at points D2 and E2 respectively. Step 6. Measure the lengths of the line segments AD1. Measure the Length of the line segment AD1. D1B. Step 6. Measure the length of the line segment AD1. D1B1. A E one E one C E one C A D two A D two D two B A E two E two C and record them in the observation table. So let us look into the observation table, observations and calculations. So AD1, AD1, got measurement as 5, DB got measurement as 9.5, AE, AE, length of AE, 5.5 cm and E1 C 10.5 centimeter. So if you take the we find that E D1 divided by D1 B I got it as 4.5 by 9.5 or you can take it as 5 by 9.5 A E1 divided by E1 C 5.5 divided by 10.5 approximately the value is coming 0 
so both the value if you divide 5 by 9.5 and 5.5 divide by 10.5 you're getting approximately 0 0.5 so similarly ad2 so orange length ad2 10 centimeter d2b 4 centimeter a e2 a2 e2 length is 11.5 centimeter e2c e2c 4.5 centimeter the same thing a d2 divided by d2b 10 by 4 a e2 divided by e2c 11.5 divided by 4.5 so when you take the you get when you simplify this you get approximately 2.5 and you see that 10 by 4 is equal to 11.5 by 4.5 so result we find that a1 d1 by d1b is equal to a e1 divided by e1c and a d2 divided by d2b is equal to a e2 divided by e2c hence the basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem is verified. I repeat the theory. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the two sides, then the line then divides these sides in the same ratio. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides then the line divides these sides the line divides these sides in the same ratio this is basic proportionality theorem activity thank you